<laughs> that is Ronnie Chang, this week's headliner at the Capital City Comedy Club. You said you're a little embarrassed hey. still seeing these clips now. Yeah, it's all awesome looking at video of yourself. I recommend everyone do that. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you get tired, well, that's uh, that shows how authentic you are here. We just broke some news to you that you're on tour. Yeah, I didn't know you I was on didn't tour. You put it together. You are <laughs> when you do a series of shows because you're on the Daily Show. That's yeah. where you may recognize as normal work. Yeah. And you said you were on a break between the convention coverage and, of course, obviously ramping up to the election day. Yeah. You had some time off. Yeah. And when you go to a bunch of different cities and do shows, that's, that's a tour. I guess you're right. I, yeah. I am on tour. I was at um, Minneapolis, uh, Denver, and now I'm in Austin. I'm going to Nashville next. Yeah. But uh, it's a tour of great cities. Everyone told me uh, this, this, is the, this is the good run. So I'm, I'm glad to be in an awesome uh, A-list cities. Well, we're happy yeah. to have you. And again, things have happened so quickly for you. Give a little bit of your background for people who don't know. You, Blew me away. You did not do stand-up until 2009. Yeah, which was I, not that long ago. I guess not that long ago. I started 2009 in Melbourne, Australia, um, and I did it for six years there. And I just moved to America last September to yeah. take a job on the show. So this is my first kind of run in the American comedy club. So. Yeah, but not just oh yeah. anyway a show, The Daily Show, right, which means show. when you got up there in 2009, you were pretty good. In 2009, <laughs> I, I was okay. I, 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 it took me a while to, to know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, but when they asked me to audition for it um, in 2015, yeah, last year, mm -hmm. uh, March 2015, yeah, I was like, I was blown away. I couldn't believe they contacted me. All the way, I was in Australia at the time. Yeah. So, and and uh, they asked me to audition. I sent in a tape. Uh, they uh, liked what they saw. They asked me to come in and audition in person in New York. I happened to be on tour in Canada, going to England at so the time. So you knew you were on tour then? I, that, at that time, that I was definitely on tour. Yeah. Okay. I was like on a three-month tour right. at the time, because um, and that was like a you know like three month every day doing shows tour. Yeah. So um, and I got the job when I was in England exactly one year ago today. It's my birthday today. Well, congratulations! Yeah. We're happy you're celebrating Thanks with so us. Much. We might buy you some free food that we're making over there. Oh, great! To celebrate. <laughs> uh, but but is it different being on the Daily Show as you work out material? Obviously, political yeah. can be topical material during night in. Not stand up, yeah. but you guys are assembling moment by moment. You don't really know what the news of the day is, the slant you put on it. That's got to be a creative challenge, but also a lot of Absol fun. Absolutely, I've never worked in that kind of environment. I've never worked on television uh, in that way. I've, I've done, you know, uh, uh, comedy roles, uh, uh, sketch comedy stuff. I've never done like a talk show, especially one that you have to do every day, yeah. Monday to Thursday. Yeah. Um, and you're right. It start. They start at 9 a.m. And you can't really, you can plan ahead a little bit, but you, you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Right. It depends on what happened the day before, what's the vibe in the news. Yeah. And you're talking about that stuff. And by 6 p.m., so we start at 9 p.m., uh, 9 a.m. By 6 p.m., you you better have a show. <laughs> I mean, so it's that, it's a lot like what we do, although you have to be funny on top of it. Oh. When, when we're funny, <laughs> when, and we're funny a lot, but it's usually on accident. Sure. <laughs> at least you get to be funny on purpose. Well, right. Uh, hopefully, yeah. yeah we know like, those we're... notes. Um, but also, what what time do you guys start? We start at 4.30. Okay. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah. And you're out by when? We're, we're out. Well, the show's going to end at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Right. Yes. Yeah, so you're kind of like the head. Not yeah. only you're on tour, you're one of the headliners right. here at 9 o'clock hour. Uh, and, and you grew up all, all over the world. You, yeah. you did spend some of your formative years here in the United States, but obviously in Singapore. So you bring a unique perspective to your yeah. work. Yeah. So before this, I was in Australia for 10 years. Uh, before that, I was in Singapore for 10 years. And then before that, uh, I was in New Hampshire for four years. And then... That's I was cool. one of the immigrants who, I was one of the good immigrants. I did what I got to do and then I left. I didn't, I didn't take a job for any American. My, par my parents left, went back to Malaysia. Um, and we were in Singapore and Malaysia for like 10 years. So, Wonderful. yeah, I mean, that, you know, I just, uh, that's why I sound like this. It's all, it's all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> You've got elements you can yeah. break out as the situation allows. Yeah. You've got to work on your twang a little bit more down here. Right. Here's the information about this show. As you said, you got four more shows on the run, two yeah. tonight and then two tomorrow at the Cap City Comedy Club. And you said, you know, like I said, traveling is kind of second nature. You're exploring new cities. So you've yeah. already been out about here in town. Yeah, I get, man, this is one of the best parts of moving to America. I've been trying to come here for 20 years now. So uh, seeing all the cities in America, America is so big. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys understand how big America is. Like every state, it's almost its own country. Yeah. Every city, it's got its own way of talking, its own food. And I mean, I love doing comedy. It's, you know, I, obviously I, I do it every day. I, I do gigs, I go and do other gigs and, and I go, love it, but- Then but, go eat. And then go eat, yeah. <laughs> but that's the best part of it is seeing, uh, experiencing American cities. Wonderful. So it's my first time in Texas, first time in Austin. Cool. Um, 
We hope you, uh, the crowds are treating you right. Yeah, they're great. They've been great. They were great yesterday. I did my first show yesterday. So hopefully, you know, if you guys are free, come on down and say hi. Wonderful. There's the information on the screen. Uh, Ronnie Chang, thank you so much. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. And uh, good luck as Thanks you so uh, run up to November. It's great to meet you.